I'll be using a team of traitors! I'm a snake, by the way. I'm a snake. This team has more snakes than the jungle! And there's a certain person that's already triggering me. I'm okay! I'm okay! Are you tired of coming against teams that are so much better than yours? My eyes are bleached. If so, look no further than the cheapest, most reliable place to buy your foot 22 coins you seven buy. Make sure you use that code Danny at the checkout to save yourself even more money. Back to you in the studio. I'm gonna start on the bench as that's where the biggest snake of them all is. We are starting strong, lads, with Zlatan Ibrahim. He's 90, he's 90k. He's 90,000 coins. As I was saying, Zlatan Ibrahim. He's our first player. This guy's gone to more clubs than I've had hot dinners. Stop the cap. I've actually got free shirts with his name on the back. Uh, these are all definitely real and not from China. What are you lying for? Hey, hey, bo hey, boys. Hey, boys. Hey, boys. What's nine plus ten? Twenty-one. <laughs> uh, is, that, is that still relevant? Nope. Obviously, the main reason he is here is because he played for Inter Milan, but now plays for AC Milan. And I'm going to play my Uno reverse card. I've got Cannon Iglu next to him, who now plays for Inter Milan, but used to play for AC Milan. I'm a snake. Ironically, Inter Milan's away kit actually did have some snakes on it last year. Even his club know he's a snake. And that brings me on to Danny's fun fact of the day. Did you know Inter Milan had to play with a plain white t-shirt in the Champions League? This is because the UCL doesn't allow animals on their shirts. <laughs> but with that out of the way, we move on to our next player. And I remember this transfer being very controversial. I'm going to have to go with a gold card because ain't nobody grinding for this storyline in August. If you are, you are a weapon. I remember this transfer being so, so, so controversial. I've just Googled the word Higuain traitor. First one that comes up, dirty rotten traitor. Even, even Maradona called him a traitor. Uh, and there's another one. I'll only enjoy myself once Higuain dies. Yeah, it's safe to say that transfer did not go down well, but he now streams on Twitch, minding his own business, so he's fine. Next up, we have Cesc. Fiberglass. The real ones know. And to be honest, I don't really consider this a snaky move. He went from one small club to another small club. I think he went from Arsenal to Chelsea. Oh. And I believe now he's at like a Serie B club. I might be completely waffling, but I'm fairly sure he's gone to the Serie B. Someone I definitely know what club he's at is Mario Goetze, as, as he's got a showdown card from PSV. He's also got a, a Frankfurt card. Wait, where is he from? Don't tell me he's moved to Frank. He's moved to Frankfurt. Has he? I don't know. Okay, I don't know where he's from either because he's got a PSV and Frankfurt card. But what I do know about him is he's a nag. This man went from Borussia Dortmund to Bayern Munich. It's totally unacceptable. And the worst thing about it, lads, and the worst thing about it, lads, he is not the only person to go from Dortmund to Bayern in this team. Disgusting. But next up on the list is a free kick merchant. And again, I don't really know why he's a snake. It's Dimitri Payet. I just remember West Ham fans calling him a snake. I did try Try and ask him West Ham fans today why he was a snake, but it's quite hard to hear him from all the way down there. Uh, let me just quickly check my to-do list. Yeah, yeah, I've now done that. Barcelona fans will get on to you soon. But for now, let's focus on the final bench player. He is an icon, uh, but don't get too excited. It's, it's Vieri, who cost me 70k, but he's a snake as well. But let's finally build the actual team. And to do that, I need to change my formation to 3-1-4-2. Oh, dear. In goal, there's a few options. And by that, I mean Courtois or Schmeichel. I'm going to go with Big Schmeichel as he's better for chemistry. He went from Man United to Man City. And I feel like just no one cared. Or it might be because I wasn't on Twitter in 2002. I was in the womb. Speaking about being in the womb, I wish this next person stayed in there. It's a bit of a weird analogy. We have Sol Campbell! Yay! And uh, to be honest, I have absolutely no bad words to say about him. I think he's actually been overhated by the Tottenham fan base. In fact, I would just like to take a second to appreciate him. Sol Campbell, you f Uh, thank you so much, man. Honestly, a pleasure to the club. Thank you so much, mate. Joining him at the back, it's Matt Hummels. And to be honest, this guy is probably the snakiest snake of them all. Because not only did he join Dortmund from Bayern Munich, he joined Bayern Munich from Dortmund. So he has definitely earned his place in this team. And the final centre-back is actually a full-back at centre-back. Don't make me sick. 
It's another one who's gone from Arsenal to Chelsea, so we don't mind it. Ashley Cole is our final defender, boys. Nice. Let's move up to the midfield, and we start on the right mid. We are finally going to the La Liga, and there's only one thing worse than murder, and it's joining Barcelona from Real Madrid. Thankfully, that is not what Luis Figo done. He done the complete opposite, so he's got my respect. He went from the smallest club in La Liga to the biggest club in La Liga. Yep, there we go, boys. Checklist complete. Great success. While we're on the subject of Barcelona, why not add in a 99 rated Lewandowski, Lewandowski to the team? He obviously moved from Dortmund to Bayern Munich, but now both Dortmund and Bayern fans hate him, so didn't really work out well for him, did it? But I don't mind him if that helps him out. The only CDM of the team is Robin Van Persie. Uh, traitor. Back on the uh, so I look forward to him doing diving headers left and right to clear the ball. Yeah, the midfield is looking ropey, boys. We need a bit of defence. And my left centre mid is not a traitor to a club. He is a traitor to a whole entire nation. What? I'm speaking about Rice Rice Baby, who was Irish, but then decided he was good enough to play for England. And now he's Brexit till he dies. <laughs> And we have one last Englishman to the left of him. It's a newly transferred card to Pelsey. Raheem the Dream Sterling. Be honest, what club has he not betrayed? He's played for Liverpool, City and Chelsea. And he's basically recreated this picture. We now move on to the two strikers of the team. And I'll tell you what, boys, the left striker is actually the highest rated of this entire team. At 98 rated, Christian Eriksen. Hey, boys, call me Vanos because perhaps I treated him too harshly. He obviously played for the biggest club in North London, but then went to Manchester United, where he is at right now. And looking at it now, lads, it's not that deep, but it still hurts a lot when Fabrizio Romano said... Here we go. And last but not least, boys, it's a man who played for both Barcelona and Real Madrid. We can't do a team of traitors without using him. It is prime moment or not. I can't afford... I cannot afford that. It's mid oh, 9 who, as I said, played for both Barca and Real Madrid. But that is the completed team, boys. The only thing left to do is to play some games. Okay, boys. First game, Nunes. Wait, wait, he's got a gold Laporte. Oh, 19. Bang. 1-1 one, one already, boys. Daddy, chill. Neymar! What the f- I'm not, lads, I've learned that it's August and I'm just not going to shout, basically. Another one. I'm going to, lads, I'm losing 6-1. I'm just going to do the right thing and leave. Clive! That's a good team, to be fair. Average! Why have you done that? For what? Why? Oh, that's a cool squad. That's a cool squad. Vinicius oh, for Junior. Please, man! <laughs> yes! What a goal! And I was like, what is happening? Am I getting DDoSed or what? I'm not being funny, boys. That's was I winning? I think I was 2-1 up, right? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a guest. He's got a friend. Must be nice. Uh, it's a full, full prem team. Boring. What a thing. Oh, Jesus Christ. Soccer aid merchant. Oh, he's head screwed on. Oh! Ah! Open the gates. Lewandowski. Lewandowski. Back like I'm Trent. Oh! You ginger. What? Dye your hair! You're not a god. You don't know who has a soul and who doesn't. So I, I was just watching Premier League highlights without audio. Quite a dull journey! Yeah! We'll do it. Oh my life! That's how it ended. Oh, sweet Jesus. What the f- Schmeichel, it's all wrong, mate. You... Nemo! Oh, please. Oh, please. Please. Thank you. 2-1. Oh. So that didn't last long. Easy! Yes! Go on, Lower. I just feel like I've, I've disappointed my family. Oh! Come on! He's going to score. What are you doing, you plank? Awkward. He got the sweaty goals. Yeah. I can't, don't ask any questions as to what just happened there. Do not ask. 
Yeah. Always, always gonna happen, isn't it? Thank you. Bang! You don't save them. Lol. Oh. Oh, yes. Good save. Smichael's actually saved us, lads. He's won us the game. <laughs> Ooh. Prime Pele, eh? Do that. But, you know. Oh, you donkey. Oh. Oh. Easy. Oh, we're fine. 1-1, one, one, baby. 1-1. One, one. Don't. Oh. Lucky. Yes! Yeah! Ooh. Oh! That was very cold, right? Oh, Robin! Man, pussy! 3-3, free, free, baby. You, that's who thought? Who thought Timo Verde was going to score there to end the vid? No, 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 no! Naughty, naughty. Hey, boys, leave a like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you ever so much for watching. Peace. I want to keep